Mining engineers, just like any other engineering discipline, help make the world a better place. They do this by designing, innovating, improving, and leading the way on projects, providing us with all the natural resources that enable us to advance as a society. The University of Arizona is one of just 13 American universities to offer a mining engineering degree. The program stems all the way back to the founding of the school and was the very first program to be established here back in 1885. Of course, a lot has changed since then, but one thing that has remained is the program's long tradition of excellence as a leader and innovator in the field. In fact, the program has been consistently ranked as one of the top in the nation year to year. University of Arizona mining engineers make a global impact by solving the critical challenges of extracting non-renewable natural resources, processing them, and turning them into the materials necessary to create the things that we need. Cutting edge technologies like battery powered vehicles, solar panels, or life-saving medical devices all rely on mining engineers finding new ways to extract more complex minerals in lower concentrations developing new technologies, and making sure that the process is done in a safe, socially responsible, environmentally sound, and economically viable manner. The program here at the U of A is designed to give you a strong mining engineering foundation while also allowing you to discover and pursue your own passion. With four different focus areas or tracks to choose from, you can really dive into what you find most interesting and take the courses related to that topic. Having been through the program myself, I can tell you that one of the things I found most exciting about it was the plethora of opportunities to gain hands-on experience and get involved. Whether it's working underground at the San Javier Mining Laboratory, or assisting a professor with cutting-edge research, or even working and getting paid as an intern with one of the local mining companies, there's so many ways that you can gain practical experience. Believe me when I say that there are truly so many different career paths a mining engineer can take. Tucson alone is a mining hub surrounded by mines, consultants, and mine technology companies. But the opportunities extend beyond Tucson as well. Mining engineering careers can take you all over the world. From developing artificial intelligence that can improve a mine's efficiency, to working on boosting endangered species near a site. Our graduates work on all sorts of projects all over the world in a wide range of positions and fields. Lastly, being part of this program means being part of a unique and close-knit community. With small faculty to student ratios and fun student clubs and involvement opportunities, not only do you get to find your path, but also make lifelong friends while you're at it. Hello, I'm Bob Omayas, Interim Head of the Department of Mining and Geological Engineering, and I'm excited to speak to you about our mining program today. Students are and always have been at the heart of University of Arizona's mining engineering programs, programs that have touched three separate centuries. Our department has a legacy of producing leaders for the entire mining industry in this country and abroad and has been the state of Arizona's sole provider of academic and research programs focused on mineral engineering and non-renewable resources. In the past 135 years, our department has been responsible for some of the world's most dynamic innovations in mineral resource development, contributing to the state of Arizona's present position as the nation's most valuable mineral production center. Today, Tucson enjoys a special status as the hub of mining technology worldwide, with headquarters at offices of many iconic international companies, such as Caterpillar, Komatsu, and Hexagon Mining, surrounded by multiple world-class mining operations. We have all the components of a world-class education and innovation ecosystem, with the university, technology transfer, industry, government, and civil society. Faculty in our department are active in research and technology transfer, 
with dozens of invention disclosures and startup companies since 2015. This reflects the cutting edge nature of the research conducted in the mining program and involves collaboration across colleges on campus and the industry. So what can you expect from a program that is ranked top three in the country and top 12 in the world? Well, for some students, the most important thing is direct quality interaction with the faculty. We can offer you that. We are a small program, class sizes are no more than 30 or 35, and the faculty in our department care deeply about helping and mentoring the students throughout their studies. Every student is concerned about the cost of education. Our program has the largest endowment in the college, and because we are a small program, every student who meets the requirements will receive one or more scholarships. Last year, we awarded over $400,000 worth of scholarships. Getting practical experience in any engineering field is very important. Mining students have some of the very best paid internships in the world, and they get to travel all over while doing it. Mining summer jobs pay on average between $15 and $22 an hour. Some students are paid as much as $34 an hour. Every semester, we take our students on educational field trips around the country. Last month, the students traveled to Las Vegas to attend Mine Expo International, the world's largest exposition of mining equipment, products, and services. Every year, we have students who take advantage of the agreements our department has with other schools in Australia, Canada, South America, and Europe, and spend one or two semesters abroad to enjoy other cultures and countries. Our graduates are often offered permanent positions before graduation and are promoted within just a few years. And unlike other industries during the pandemic, our field continues to grow. I'm happy to report that our placement of students for internships and jobs continues to be exceptional. Prior to the pandemic, our placement rate has been near or at 100%. Even now, our students have been successful in securing summer jobs and permanent positions after a couple of months of searching. Another great perk is that mining engineering is one of the top paying degrees with starting salaries ranging from $55,000 to $75,000 a year. With a 1,000% projected increase in demand for minerals needed for the green economy and future high technologies, there's a huge demand for mining engineers. So do you want to make a difference by making a positive impact on the environment, the society, and the country at large? If the answer is yes, then mining engineering could be a great career choice for you because our faculty and students share your interests. Come and visit us at the open house because we're ready to help you achieve your dreams. Hi there, I'm Isabel Barton, Assistant Professor here at the University of Arizona in Mining and Geological Engineering. Now, when people ask me what that means, what I do in Mining and Geological Engineering, I have one answer. I keep modern civilization going. Now, that may not sound modest, but think about how much metal you need for your daily life. Just one of the six or seven layers of your smartphone has more than a dozen different metals, and your phone as a whole contains most of the naturally occurring elements on the periodic table. Those elements don't grow on trees, they come from rocks, and we extract them and convert them into usable forms by mining. As mining engineers, our job is to engineer systems that extract the metals, the semiconducting elements, and the other important materials from the rocks that contain them safely, sustainably, and efficiently. 
So what do you do as a mining engineer? Well, you help make a high-tech green technology future possible. Every time technology advances, it needs more and better materials. Let's look back to ancient or medieval times. At that point, you would have only needed six or eight metals to run your most cutting edge technology, for instance, a bronze sword. That was very cutting edge. But by the 1980s, it took more than that to make a single computer chip. And now, even your average chip needs more than 50 different metals to pack high computing performance into a microscopic size. Semiconductors, superconductors, super alloys, all of them call on mining engineers to develop new ways to get new elements out of rocks. And that will only get more important in the future as we get away from fossil fuels. Shifting from a coal-fired power plant to a field of wind turbines uses less fossil fuel, but it takes more silicon, copper, aluminum, iron, and other metals that can only be obtained by mining. Think about what's in a solar panel. Silicon, framed by aluminum or steel, doped with boron, and connected to the grid by copper. That would be a challenge just to provide the elements we need to move our society away from fossil fuels, but here is an even bigger challenge. By the end of the 21st century, the world will have almost 11 billion people on it, and non-renewable resources will be closer to running out. But we not only need more metals to move to green energy, developing nations need steel, copper, concrete, and other non-renewable resources to industrialize. So where do those come from, and how do we get all of them with without damaging the environment and the climate. Mining engineers produce those metals from resources in the earth. First, we find the ores or the metal bearing rocks wherever they are, Arizona, Africa, Japan, everywhere. We dig them up, we separate the, metal, the minerals that have the metal from those that don't, and then we process them to get the metal into a usable form for engines, batteries, beams, wires, computer chips, and everything else that's made from metal. The engineers we graduate follow one of four tracks as they learn the ins and outs of this process. In the mine operations track, students learn how to design an extractive system, i.e. a mine, for anything, whether it means digging a mile deep into the earth or starting 18,000 feet above sea level. Our graduates know how to devise a blasting pattern, optimize equipment fleets with hundreds of trucks, shovels, and drills, and move millions of tons of rock every day. While their students here, they get to practice at our own student-run San Javier mine. Students on the geomechanics track mix high-tech sensor platforms and computer modeling with tests of rock strength and fracture dynamics. Whether it's a sophisticated four-dimensional numerical model that shows how an excavation will or won't remain stable, or a drone-mounted laser platform that monitors micron-scale movements in underground rock, our geomechanical engineers design and maintain the tunnels, pits, and shafts that keep mines running at the top of the world, the bottom of the ocean, or any place in between. Once the rocks are dug up, the extractive metallurgists get the metal out of them. With a mix of pyrometallurgy and electrochemistry, our students on the mineral processing and extractive metallurgy track break apart the rock, isolate the metallic minerals, and then transform them into high purity metals for copper wires, semiconductors, solar cells, and everything else. We make the metals, the alloys, and the super alloys that keep the world driving, flying, and connected. This is the best track in the department, and I know because I teach on that track, and I want you to know that that assessment is totally unbiased. We really are the best. Sustainability is a word you hear a lot these days, but what does it really mean? For mining engineers, it means benefiting the environment and society. All through the mining process, we're cleaning up around us. Our sustainability engineers design automated chemical systems to monitor the water quality around mine sites. They work with the agriculture department to breed plants that are tailor-made for sucking metal contaminants out of soils around old historical mine sites. And they work with local communities in Africa, Central America, and everywhere else around the world to help Help them ensure that they get the benefits from mining. It's all about engineering a system that gets the resources that society needs without harming people or the planet. 
And then there's the long-term future. If we're serious about exploring other planets or developing a lunar base, we can't just ferry all the raw materials that we're going to need from Earth to outer space. We have to develop the technology to source materials from the local environment, whether that's the moon, Mars, or an asteroid. That means autonomous robotic mining equipment. It means new techniques for metal extraction without gravity, without water, and without heat. And that is technology we're already working on here at the U of A. That is the challenge of mining engineering. It's the challenge our students and our grads and it's the challenge our students and our graduates accept to produce the raw materials that keep society going, to engineer a system that moves our technology and our civilization forward. We provide the materials to boldly go where no one has gone before. And just in case being part of the biggest challenge at the heart of future civilization isn't enough for you, here are a few other things to love about mining engineering. The pay is high, the scholarships are the best in the college, and our students form a close-knit community with the faculty and staff. Nobody in our department is just a face in a crowd. Not to mention, you're not a face in a cubicle either. You can work inside, outside, or any combination of the two that you like. And lastly, it's just plain fun. Come talk with me at the Q&A session on Wednesday. See you there. The University of Arizona's San Javier Mining Laboratory, south of Tucson, 250 feet deep, and the only student-run mine in the U.S. with a working vertical shaft. The mine provides a convenient location that can be used for training, research, and testing. It has been unchanged for decades, until now. SX Mine is about to become an underground proving ground for mining equipment and innovation center by adding a new decline. Three, two, one. What you see behind me is the forward looking nature of this mine. We're actually expanding this mine so we can bring in larger equipment, autonomous equipment. The SX mine provides a modern 15 by 15 feet decline, capable of accommodating small to mid-size mobile mining equipment. It offers the ability to operate underground mining equipment in a flexible non-production setting. Hello everyone, my name is Victor Nieto. I'm the current president for the University of Arizona Society of Mining, Metallurgy and Exploration, also known as UASME. We're so excited for you to learn a little bit about our club. Here is Katie Slaughter. So as part of SME, we have uh, bi-weekly meetings in which we have speakers from industry come in and tell us a little bit more about what life at work is and give us some professional development tips. We also get to participate in two competitions, the Intercollegiate Mining Games and Mine Design, in which you can learn a little bit more about what it's like to design a mine or uh, work in industry. And then we also get to attend conferences, sometimes free or partially covered, such as Mine Expo and Mine Exchange, in which you get to network with industry members and learn more about new technologies and developments in the field. U of A SME members have access to exclusive scholarships just by being members of SME National. U of A SME members get help with writing resumes and cover letters. They also get help with internship and job applications. In addition to that, U of A SME members enjoy a close-knit relationship with one another. They also are always networking and building connections with professionals. Thank you for watching, and we can't wait for you to join us.